Cheers, guy. All right. Thank you for catching up. I'll talk to you next week. All right. Take care. Bye. Hey, guys. Welcome to the Consumer Tech, the Friday checkout, the first episode. My name is Banele, and I just got off a WhatsApp call with a friend of mine. Guess what? On my PC. Yes, on my PC. So WhatsApp has launched a new feature where you can make and receive video and voice calls all on your PC. So in order for you to take advantage of this, you would need to be either on Windows 10 or Mac OS, but I'm running Windows 10 and you would need to be on version 1909. That's the minimum one. So let's quickly dive into how you would set this up on your laptop or PC. I'm on Windows 10. To access the Microsoft Store, click on the Start menu on the bottom left and then head over to the Microsoft Store. If you cannot see it, then scroll down the All Apps list up until the M section and then click on Microsoft Store. And then on the top right corner under the search bar, click on it and then type in WhatsApp. And then click on WhatsApp. And then if WhatsApp is installed on your system, you should see the Launch button like in my case, but if it's not, you will see install, and then just go ahead and click on install, and then go through the following instructions. I don't know about you, but I hate standing in long queues to deposit money at an ATM or inside the branch, which is hella expensive. But the ShopRite group, along with a number of banks, have partnered together to create a simpler experience for customers to deposit money into their account. So you can walk into either a ShopRite, a Checkers, or a USAVE and deposit money. And there is a fee. And the fee is 19 rands 95 cents. So the banks that are currently supported is NetBank, FNB, Investec, Standard Bank, African Bank, Time Bank, of course. And on the list, I don't see Capitec as well as APSA. So I'm not sure. Maybe they're coming at a future date. But for now, these are the banks that are supported. And like I said, you pay that 19 rands, 95 cents. And you might be asking, so cool, what if I deposit money right now? How long will it take for it to reflect? I don't know. I honestly don't know how long it will take. But I'll be sure to use it. And as soon as I've you know, gone through the whole experience, I'll do a follow-up video to let you know how the whole experience went. But um, the experience, guys, should be ideal for individuals that are maybe, let's say, in rural areas. Or if you're at a mall and you don't feel like jumping around in, in these different shops, you can deposit money right from the supermarket. And I think this is dope. I think this is dope. I mean, gone are the days where you deposit a check and it only reflects after two weeks. But the one thing I'd like to see is interoperability as far as the banks are concerned, as far as um, if I'm using a different bank and I'd like to send money to you, why should it take a day or two? At least let it be a few hours without having to pay extra immediate fees. If you are a sports lover like myself, but I only love Chelsea. I don't even watch local football. I'm so terrible. But anyway, if you're a sports lover, you'll be happy to know that next week, on the 13th and 14th of March, DSTV will be opening all channels, all sports channels, for you to watch free of charge. So if you are not on the premium package, if you're in anything below that, then you'll be eligible to watch these channels. And for you to do that, you would have to log into your DSTV app, which is now called Went. Wait, wait. Formerly, it was called uh, DSTV Now, but it's now called DSTV App. So you log in with your credentials and you'll be able to watch sports the entire weekend on the DSTV app. And if you want to upgrade, yeah, you're welcome to do that. But uh, you'll be able to see a lot of these um, uh, sports channels that are available on DSTV. That's if you are a full sports lover. So you can look forward to watching the PSL, the La Liga. I love wrestling. <laughs> so I'll probably be watching a lot of wrestling. Six Nations, fights and all of that stuff. So look forward to it, guys, next week on the 13th and 14th of March, um, but only on the DSTV app, which is on your smartphone or tablet. So guys, as you know, today is Friday and after this, I'm going home to watch a little bit of Netflix and fall asleep. So there's a new feature that Netflix is launching, which is similar to TikTok. 
And with this feature, they are basically creating short stories of comics or comedians or whatever it is. And the goal is similar to TikTok, where you can have these small little bites of comedy that you can watch on your smartphone. And this just reminds me of TikTok. And the feature is called um, Fast Laughs. Fast Laughs, Fast Laughs, whatever. And yeah, I mean, if you've got a Netflix account, you'll start seeing these funny clips from murder mystery a big mouth of the crew as well as as well as stand-up comedians like kevin hart and so on so i understand what's going on here because most of us consume content on our smartphones like facebook twitter um, youtube as well as tiktok and when it comes to netflix i personally watch netflix on my smart tv or laptop so it looks like netflix is looking at gaining a bit of market share for the individuals that are on their smartphones, so they so they've introduced these short little videos, and yeah, by 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 the looks of things, we'll we'll see. I mean, it doesn't mean that if a big company introduces a feature, it will work out. The same way that um, uh, Spotify was bidding on podcasts to be uh, the sole provider of podcasts, just didn't work out as far as revenue is concerned. So we'll see, guys. We'll see. So the Huawei Mate 40 Pro is set to launch in SA in April next month. And I've got a lot of questions regarding that. For instance, I've never used Huawei outside the Google services. And as you know, guys, um, with the Trump bans and all of those restrictions, Huawei was then forced to create their own mobile services. So for instance, now if you buy a Huawei phone, you're not getting Google mobile services you'll be getting Huawei mobile services. So what does this mean? This means that there is no YouTube for you. (laughs) There is no Google apps and anything that is YouTube tied. So for instance, there are some banks that make use of the Play Protect services. So these banks, you can't get them on the uh, um, Huawei devices. But other than that, as far as the hardware is concerned, these phones look absolutely gorgeous because I owned one before the ban and yeah, tragically I lost it. <laughs> but these phones are good, guys. These phones are good. The camera, the uh, the hardware, the build quality, they are awesome. So the question is, now that Huawei has Huawei mobile services, um, I don't know if people are switching to these smartphones and I guess I would have to then get a device that I can play with for an entire month using Huawei mobile services and see if whether I do miss some of the uh, Google Play services that come baked in with a phone that has Google Play services. So um, they are set to launch in March. And yeah, I don't doubt the hardware. I don't doubt the camera. But I think the main thing here is the software experience. But um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. And then lastly, guys, I mean, during the week, if you try to Google something, you probably found that Um, Google was down for like two days, not two days for the whole two days. But then I think on the March 3rd, uh, Google was down for like a few hours or so. And then um, later on, it was also down. So I was I was thinking to myself, apart from Google, let's just say you wanted to um, do an assignment to do research. So you discover that Google is down. Apart from Google, do you know any other search engines that you can use as an alternative in the slight event that Google is down? And if you don't know, I also use Microsoft Bing, which is a search engine. And even though it's not optimized for SA, but for basic search results, it is good. I would encourage you to make use of Bing. So that's it, guys, for this week. Catch me again next week, same time. And uh, we'll be looking at uh, a lot of uh, tech that's uh, come out, you know, during the week. My name is Banele for Consumer Tech. And this is the Friday Checkout. Stay blessed. Peace.